I had a pretty good week of practice so far. Things seem to be going well. Uh, another good workout today. I've gotten better each day. Tuesday was a little more sluggish, but we've been off for five days, so it was kind of expected. Uh, a lot better tempo, a lot better practice. Uh, getting better in a lot of areas, in my opinion. I see some improvements in kicking game. Uh, defensively, doing, still doing well. Offensively, picked up some really nice things. I like what we're doing. And uh, guys are, and some of those young new freshmen are coming on because they're just figuring out what to do more and more and more and more. So very happy with that. Question? Um, Jimbo, of course, everybody's been talking about how James has been doing. We talked to Derwin and Isoda Dane. They said they like how he's been coming along. What have you seen from him so far this week? And where do you, how do you assess his progress? Hard work and determined and very focused. I mean, that's about the best way I can. He, he grinds, he pushes, he asks questions. He likes to be coached and, you know, I like, like how he's going. We'll, you know, we have to wait and see how he plays and things go well. But at the same time, everything he's doing, everything he can humanly do, putting in film time, questions he asks, studying, just the overall demeanor of his body language, the things I really liked. Jim, I know you, uh, you probably picked up some during fall camp and even behind DeAndre. Do these two weeks kind of give you some time to kind of implement a few more things that maybe you want, wouldn't have? Well, possibly. There are, but you got to be careful and make sure he can execute things. But at the same time, you gotta, you, that depends on how he adjusts to the things he's already gotten in. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll move from there. Been good. Been solid. Jim, uh, Derwin today mentioned the idea of, of not letting these weeks, this practice time go to waste. Can it, can it be a sign of maturity when guys are able to embrace a change in the schedule and the change in the routine? No doubt. And it goes back to all that control what you can control. All right, we have this time, so what can we do with it? We have to get better. And we have to practice and just enhance on things and improve things. And I think that's a very mature way. And that's what, that's what the message we've been sending to our players. Two years ago, you weren't a fan of the early bye, and you had nine, mm -hmm. I think, nine straight games. How much of a challenge is it now, 10 straight games with the Well, I've done it before, and it is a challenge. There's no doubt. I mean, how, how we practice, what we do, the things in which we approach and how we approach practices you know, later in the year after you play so many games in a row will we'll be adjusted. I think last year you guys finished 7-1, and one, and after the Orange Bowl, it seemed like you guys really wanted to play after that. Does a 10 in a row kind of, you know, help you pick up a rhythm? It can you? be. If you start playing well, it can be a good thing. I mean, you know, you can you know, look at things, we need a rest, but if you're, st you're playing well and you manage it right and your mind's in the right place and you have the right demeanor, it definitely can. There's no doubt. Health-wise, some of those guys that were I'll set up for one right now. <laughs> Just take them one at a time. Health-wise, some of those guys that were dinged up, Carlos Becker, for example, how are they doing? Getting how better. Hopefully we'll, have, hopefully we'll have Carlos trying to strive for the first of next week. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he made a lot of vast improvement. He's kind of hit us, but he's getting better. So we'll see, but, you know, we'll have to judge and see. Uh, Coach, this is time off. I mean, how much does it have a potential to really be a double-edged sword, though, when you don't have that game time action? There's really no replacement for game time action. Well, we do, but we go good on good every day. And it, it, there's no, nothing with the scoreboard's on. That's for sure. But in practice, we're good on good, which we always do, even during the season anyway. So we do a lot of ones on ones. So that's what you have to do. Uh, beyond just James, your other freshmen and inexperienced players, or lesser experienced players, can this time be beneficial for them too? No doubt. No doubt. It's just more time, more reps, and, and more time you got them in the rotation, without a doubt. Jim, but when it comes to just kind of the rest of the offense, what have you said to some of those older guys about making sure that, hey, they do what they can to help James along and, and kind of perform in their roles? Their job we, is not to change anything. Do what they're supposed to do and do your job every play. That's what you should do no matter who the quarterback is. And that's all you can do. You ain't got to up your game. You ain't got to change anything. Do what you're supposed to do. Hey, Coach, uh, Ryan really talked about the, the excitement of, of playing at home. And now that you had to wait and then wait again, I mean, do you see them kind of chopping at the bit more and more? As oh, they want to play. There's no doubt. And, you know, and, and we didn't play as well as we wanted to, so they definitely want to play. But at the same time, just make sure we're prepared. And, but they definitely want an opponent. Jimbo, just. And we're going to get a good one, that's for sure. Jimbo, just going back to that double-edged sword, though, is it an advantage or disadvantage? You all played one game and NC State all played three. Depending how you look at it. You're saying they get more game experience? Yes. Saying you got more practice time? Yes. I mean, uh, it's six one way, half a dozen. You, if anyone ever – tell me who knows that. I don't know. You just gotta, that's the hand you're dealt. you got to go play well, so don't worry about it. And, I, and I'm, I'm not trying to be – but it's the only way you can look at it. You don't really know. And, but you got to enhance practice. All you can control is practicing well, being ready to play when your number's called, and go play. You may not really know until next Saturday, but what kind of signs have you seen from the passing game as far as rhythm and chemistry? We, we're still doing we – still, we still run our offense. We're still running our same offense and doing the things we do, and they've made play. And, we, and the people we're going against are really good, so and we're making plays. Have you seen a sense of urgency with the players around James, knowing that they have to be very precise with their routes? No. And, and I, I, I got to tell them, you should never change. Do what you do. It, it doesn't matter if Joe Montana came back or Tom Brady played quarterback. That's the way they should approach it. 
There shouldn't be any change. Because how do you change? So you're saying you didn't want to, and I'm not trying to say, you didn't want to run them good for DeAndre. You can't. You, your, your job should be the urgency to do it right no matter who's playing quarterback. And that's what we've told them. Our approach with any of our players around them hasn't changed a lick. Um, <clears throat> sticking with James, I mean, would you say there's much of a difference between having a guy like that who's learned the offense for maybe less than two months versus someone like DeAndre who he had a full year? Or is the coaching still the same? Or, or how would you describe the yeah. approach? I mean, it depends on each individual how much he retains or what he's doing or where you think he's at. And, you know, in time, there's definitely – you should know more in time. There's no doubt. But, you know, again, that's the hand we're dealt. And how, how much he retains and where he's at, yeah, that's how you coach him. Jimbo, I heard you uh, during the call show last night. Someone asked about Clemson and Louisville. Um, and you said something to the effect of, you know, they don't have faith in the young quarterback. Um, are you guys taking kind of an underdog role? Are you kind of having a lot no more role. faith in your, in, in your team? Than, than I don't take a favorite role. Don't take an underdog role. We're, gonna play, we're getting ready to play North Carolina State, and that's all I worry about.